You, you introduced articles of impeachment on day one since Biden took office. Uh, what, what is the holdup? Because I feel like, you know, and we said this last time you were on the show, how much more evidence do we need to make this happen? I, I can't comprehend that, that we need any more evidence. We have so much. Let's talk about what an impeachment inquiry is, Miranda. Thank you for bringing that up. An in, in, impeachment inquiry is just asking the question. We're just asking members of Congress, do you think we should inquire about impeachment? It's not saying, do you want to impeach? It's right. saying, should we just ask the question? And at this point right now, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with Republicans that we can't just... Hey guys, maybe ask the question. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And if we don't vote on impeachment in September, I'm not going to be able to take it. Marge the Trainwreck Green showed up on the set of American Sunrise on Real America's News looking like a hog calling contestant from the state fair. Just ask the question. So I'm, I mean, I'm at home at my house in Rome. I've been at home hanging out with all of the great, wonderful, normal people that actually have a brain and have common sense and are asking yeah. me every day, Marjorie, when is Congress going to move on with this impeachment well, inquiry? And I can't comprehend we haven't done it yet. It was hard to tell if she was wearing a checkered tablecloth to try to seem more down home. But either way, she sounded like the same old raving Jacqueline that she's always been. She claimed to be pressured by her constituents back in Georgia as to when the Republicans are going to impeach President Biden. She claimed that she'd have been home hanging out with normal people that have a brain and have common sense. Marge started screaming and attacked other Republicans over their lack of enthusiasm to impeach President Biden. What the hell is wrong with Republicans, she asked. That leaves the decision to Kevin McCarthy, ultimately. Are you confident yes. he's going to go with the impeachment inquiry uh, this fall in September? I am confident. And the reason why I'm confident is we had a House GOP call yesterday, and that was his big push on the call. So I okay. think if, you, if we were to have the vote today right now, mm -hmm. Kevin McCarthy would be one of the first ones to vote yes. So it's not our speaker. It's still some of these few remaining Republicans that maybe won a Biden district or, or they... For whatever reason, I don't know, but I think that our con our conference is coming together, and okay. we should be voting on this in September. If we don't, if we don't, I'm, I'm, you're gonna see, a, you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see the Marjorie Taylor Greene you've always <laughs> known, because I will not be able to take it. Marge was hollering about launching investigations, and she polluted the airwaves with her usual nonsense. She didn't have any substance to her accusations, just a bunch of hot air and a loud, obnoxious voice. The BS Barbie host wanted to know how much more evidence Congress needed to impeach, and that was Marge's cue to start her pathetic performance that sounded like squealing cats gone wild. The truth is that these clowns don't have any evidence at all. If they did, it would have been presented by now. Everything that James Comer, Marge the Trainwreck Green, and Lauren Boebert have tried to accuse the Biden family of has all been shown to be false. Marge the Trainwreck Green is a miserable excuse for a human being. She needs to crawl back under the damn rock that she came from. She doesn't represent her constituents, her district is poor, and she has money to waste on a used tube of Kevin McCarthy's chapstick. She's a damn liar, and that is a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.